What's up guys, it's me Packy from the house and today I got one of the most popular Brunswick balls, one of my favorites to throw in league in some of those easier conditions, the Black Widow Ghost Pearl. And today I'm going to absolutely destroy this ball, ruin it, it is gonna be unusable for me at the end of this video. And before I tell you guys how I'm gonna do that, let me show you guys what it does right now. <laughs> uh, okay, so after saying that I'm not gonna do this at all in tournaments, I'm obviously gonna do this immediately because I just threw a double with it. Exactly. <sighs> I ruined it. Maybe I should just play the Brooklyn. I destroyed the ball. This is unusable. Subscribe right now. Do it for the YouTube algorithm. What do you think? Is this ball gonna strike or what? Yeah, so that's what the ball right now normally is. It is the Black Widow Ghost Pearl, which means, as you guys can see, it has like that super shiny cover stack on it. And right now I'm going to start the process of me ruining this bowling ball by hitting it with a little bit of surface. So right now I'm playing around 18 or 19 out to like seven, eight. I'm gonna play the same line after hitting it with a thousand grit of surface. The next making an illegal bowling ball video only hit half my ball with surface? You guys let me know what you think, let me know. Chat, help me. Also, I'm a liar, 1,500, not 1,000. Didn't even have 1,000 pad. So as you guys can see, no longer like that shiny cover stock. You can see it's like a little chalky, it's a little hard for me to hold on to. So this is something I might actually do, but as I bring it lower and lower, it's not something that I would ever do to a pearl bowling ball. Like I'm not gonna bring a pearl ball to 500 grit, because I would just throw my purple hammer, duh. Purple hammer is life. All right, so this is it with 1500 grit, like 17, 18, 19, somewhere in that range out to like 70. All right, so shot number one with 1500 grit, obviously you guys can see it hooked a lot more, went straight through the face on a pretty decent shot. And not only that, it hooked a lot earlier on the lane. So I'm gonna throw a couple more shots, let that surface blend in, and then I'm gonna bring it even lower than that. So here we go. All right, so as you guys can see, like that 1500 grit actually after it settled in, I can still use that same line I was using before. Now that it's wore off, it's probably become like a 2000 or 2500. Still not that polish or that shine that it had on it when it was out of the box. 1500 grit is definitely something I would do in tournament. And now, something I probably wouldn't use would be a 500 pad on them because I would just use um, some stronger bowling balls or some smoother bowling balls. But now, I'm gonna hit it with a 500 pad and bring it, bring the surface way down. Mmm, yes, mmm. All right, so now we got the Black Widow Ghost Pearl, basically a solid right now because I just hit it with a 500 pad. I'm gonna play the same angle just like I did before, and I'm gonna show you guys how it reacts a little differently, and then I'm gonna move to help it hopefully strike, and then I'm gonna ruin it and bowl like half a game with it. Okay. All right, not my best shot. Okay, not my best shot. Don't don't roast me in the comments, not my best. Give me another try, give me another try. Ugh. All right, so with the 500 pad, it's like super sensitive to the rotation I put on the ball because if I rotate a little more, instead of grabbing the lane early and like being smooth, it grabs the lane really early and just goes dead to the right. So I'm going to move like four or five with my feet and I'm gonna see if this ball can actually get to the pocket instead of when I miss it at the bottom a little bit with my hand or rotate a little bit extra, see if I can still hit the pocket and hopefully throw a couple strikes before I ruin this thing. Oh, first try, nice. Oh, 
Okay, so after saying that I'm not gonna do this at all in tournaments, I'm obviously gonna do this immediately because I just threw a double with it. So, that 500 pad, as you can see, even when I move in, it still hooks a ton because I hit it with 500. And now, I'm gonna show you guys, I'm gonna hit it with a piece of sandpaper, I'm gonna ruin my bowling ball, and I'm gonna see how much I can get it to hook and see if I can, see if it's actually gonna be usable. I'm gonna bowl half a game with it, six frames. But first, I gotta get this pad. Dang. been recording the whole time. So I hit this ball with 180 grit, a piece of sandpaper that I stole from Wichita State. So thanks to them, I guess. I expect the first shot will probably miss the head pin right. I'll give myself like three shots and then I'm gonna bowl the back half of a game with it and uh, we'll see what I can shoot. 150 is max, 100 is par. We'll see what I got. All right, so it's gonna be from that original angle. I ruined it. I destroyed the ball. Ugh, that's a tough lead. All right, so I'm gonna move five where I ended up with that 500 pad and it should still go through the face. I got two more shots until I got a ball half again. Two more. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to use it. Okay, you know what? We're just gonna get straight into it. Frame one. Oh! Am I good or am I good? Do I play the Brooklyn? Maybe I should just play the Brooklyn. One frame down, mid perfect game. Do what's the move? Left, right? Keep going right. Chase it right. Oh! It just keeps hooking early. Oh my God. This is unusable. That's why we bring our spare ball down here. So I can make them. I think I'm gonna move again, further right. When in doubt, just keep going right. Hook. Oh. It just felt so good. Maybe I'll be a little, maybe I'll be a little more convincing on this spare shot. Probably not. Beautiful. All right, so we're halfway through. 180 grit, got a 1-0 pace. I'm gonna need a double here. Maybe a little additional rotation. First strike, hitting the pocket. I need a double to shoot 100 though. I'm not saying it's a big shot, but it's a big shot. And you know what they say about big shots. Big shot, big shot maker. Rotation. I'm a big time shot maker. I still need some pants to shoot like 100, but we won't get too ahead of ourselves. I'm a big time shot maker. I will say though, did I ruin the bowling ball? I'm eventually just gonna bring the surface back up. Did I ruin it right now? Yes, would I ever use this? Not unless I wanna shoot 230. Oh, that's so good. We're not gonna talk about that shot. I got my double and I just, I gave up, okay? Got a handy. Hey! All right, so I shot a 105 which equates to 210. Obviously, if I was to bowl the other half of that game, I would shoot 210 no matter what. Did I ruin the bowling ball? Yes. Would I ever use it with 180 grit on it? No. I, I save that for purple hammers only and urethane balls only. I usually don't go down that low in grit unless it's a urethane ball. When I do it to a ball like this, it just changes direction too hard. It makes it super early and not smooth. It makes it early and like sharp. But that being said, yeah, let's outro this. All right, so that was my Black Widow Ghost Pearl. 
Uh, one of the balls that I use a lot on some of those easier conditions, and I think I found some tricks to using it on some of those harder conditions too, maybe hitting it with like a 1500 or a 1000 at most, uh, just to really smooth out that shape so I can use it on some of those harder conditions. And I absolutely ruined this bowling ball when I hit it with 180. So I'm gonna need to go to the shop, bring it back up, maybe not up to polish though, maybe up to like a 1500 get to really uh, help this thing stay a little smoother and make it a little more versatile on some of those different patterns that I bowl on. So for now, I ruined this bowling ball, I still got 105, which equates, as we talked about, 210 exactly, no matter what. Yeah, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. You guys know what to do. Uh, comment down below if you guys have any cool ideas for me to do with my next bowling ball, or subscribe to the channel if you guys want to follow along for more fun videos like this one and uh, tournament vlogs. And until then, peace. Yeah.